here with the beautiful Jennifer Lewis. How are you this is me? I'm great. I'm lit up. I'm lit up for the resistance. Yes, honey. We all have to stand now. I just wrote a song called 50 million of us will march down south and we will tear down that wall. Yes, yes. Believe. Yes, please believe it. Yes. Now Blackish is nominated tonight. Blackish is nominated for Best Ensemble. I'm very excited. We have a great cast. Those kids are amazing. Anthony, Tracy, Lawrence Fishburne, come on. And little old shy me. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, we're very excited. You know, I always say that the stars are the true. I'm sorry. The writers are the true stars of Blackish. Uh, yeah, the subject matters that they attack each week from parenting to racism to police brutality to all of our reactions to the election. But they come from every point of view. The show doesn't preach, it just shows you reality and it gives families who are watching the conversations at their dinner tables. I'm very excited and very proud to be on a show like Blackish. Well, congratulations for being nominated for the ensemble, and we just can't wait to see what happens tonight. And what are your thoughts on diversity? Um, we're nominated, the content is there now, so what do you feel about diversity in Hollywood as it stands today in terms of snagging those nominations and more importantly getting the awards? Well, I think they've listened. I think that African Americans are making more important, for lack of a better word, film and television with great messages, amazing artists, hidden figures. It's everything. It's everything. I'm so proud of all three of them. So proud. I felt I felt so wonderful when I left that movie. So proud. God, I want us all to come together. You know, Rodney King is not one to quote, but can't we all just get along? Get along. We will. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We're going we're going through some dark days right now. Basically, the Klan is in the White House, honey, so everybody might want to get up and stand for something before all of our rights are taken away. And our ancestors didn't do what they did oh, for us to sit down and be complacent. So, Thank you so much, Jennifer Lewis, and congratulations. Absolutely. You make sure the world hears you. I will.